What's going on guys? Welcome to a brand new video. Today I've got some big news and if you don't already know, Satisfactory have just announced what they have planned for update 8. And that is the moving from Unreal Engine 4 to Unreal Engine 5, or precisely 5.1.1. And if we have to be honest, I was not expecting them to drop it with update 8. Um, and I'm usually kind of spot on with the kind of updates and release dates and what possibly could be coming. And if we have to be honest, I was not expecting what was announced, which which I'm usually kind of good with that kind of stuff. Um, but clearly, this time I was way off target and uh, I wasn't expecting it until after 1.0. But they went over a couple of things that uh, they're bringing the development tools that they can use to enhance what they're doing over there and some things that we're going to get as players that are going to enhance our experience. That's the best way to put it, right? But for those that watch my YouTube series, uh, you might have noticed something in the video that you might recognize. And yes, it was this part of the factory which will bring us to the first point, which they are bringing Lumen into the game. And if you don't know what Lumen is, Lumen is a global illumination uh, and reflection kind of system. Think of like RTX sort of thing, right? And what it does, it allows lighting to hit correct surfaces that and it will reflect off the ones it should. If that makes sense, that makes sense, right? <laughs> so you can see, this is literally my starter factory here. Snook reached out to me the other day and asked if we can use it. And I was like, of course. I didn't know what for though. So don't go ahead and ask me for about future things. I don't know that sort of stuff. Um, but you can literally see how it looks now. This is Unreal Engine 4. And then he swipes it over and you can see the difference inside. And yes, well, signs now emit light. I can confirm this. Snut announced it in the chat. He, he mentioned it in the chat that you can kind of see it in the bottom right here that the signs do emit light. However, I don't know about the performance of the signs just yet. Because as you know, our save broke due to... I didn't say broke, but a lot of you guys couldn't load up the save due to the amount of signs and all that kind of stuff involved in my save. And then we move over to this shot here, which is just another angle of the room. And you can basically just see a lot more of what's going on. And you can see exactly that the time of day does not change uh, out the windows here. Uh, and then if you just look at everything, just it just looks so good. But obviously you will need possibly a high GPU um, to to run it i would i would think so especially running along the factory stuff as well um so it's going to be something that is optional in the game settings for you to turn on and off and then next up we come across uh nanites and if you, you would have heard about a lot of nanites uh, nanites nanites if you've been watching a lot of the unreal engine stuff uh, and to be honest i have and nanites is what is kind of um so everything's kind of built around polygons but Nanites is just so compressed and it just helps with rendering of the world. And Jay specifically says it's going to help with the, the, the rocks, the terrain, all that kind of stuff. Not with objects that we place and stuff, but maybe in the future and updates and all that kind of stuff. But if I'm wrong with any of my information, just please let me know in the comments. Uh, I'm just going off the top of my head. I'm trying to remember. I'm literally recording this straight off the live stream, which was like I ended like 45 minutes ago. So yeah, next up. And that is World Partitions. And I've got a little thing here because I literally have to go to the Unreal Engine website to look at what it is. And World Partition is an automatic data management and distance-based leveling streaming system that provides a complete solution for large world management. The system removes the previous need to provide large levels and it brings it down into it. Think, so think about one big grid, but then breaking that down into smaller grids. Does that make sense? You're going to hear me say that a lot. <laughs> so the system removes the previous need to divide large levels into sub-levels by storing your world in a single persistent level separated into grid cells. So just like I said, so think of Satisfactory right now, you have the, the chunks. Do you remember if you're running from one location to another location and you might have that weird stutter? Well, that's because you're loading the next chunk available, the next world tile. I don't want to get too technical because I don't want to do that, but that's it, it's going to help with um, streaming the stuff coming in and you won't see as many things popping. Do you know, like you can see things popping in and out and all that kind of stuff. I'm going to do this from a gamer perspective and not a technical perspective because 
I'm not no, no specialist when it comes to this stuff, but I have a kind of understanding, and I could be terribly wrong here, hence why I've got notes. <laughs> the next big thing was they announced was uh, physics. So physics has finally and hopefully will fix vehicles. And as you know, the big announcement, a part, uh, well, part of this was that you know when you were driving uh, one of our vehicles um, on a foundation and it does all that weird bumpy thing because it's it's like the wheels are trying to fit down the, the side of your foundation. Well, apparently to some of the staff that have been working on it, it runs pretty well. But then the vehicles have had a massive overhaul. They've been reworked. Um, so the vehicles apparently move better now. They turn better. They've implemented an actual handbraking system instead of a certain thing they did before. I can't remember what they said, but it's a lot better. <laughs> also, they're going about uh, the audio, how the audio's uh, changed in the game now, and they based it on the wheels of the vehicle. So I'm guessing depending on where your vehicle is placed, either on a foundation and on grass services, will depend on what audio gets played and registers to our ears, I think. So remember to back up your saves. As with every update, you should, but this is a big one and you need to please do it. I don't want to see anybody in the comments on one of the satisfactory videos saying, Bits, you told us to play this, but now I can't play my save. Go and back up your saves. So do that. And all you need to do is just go into your, uh, what is it, your app data folder, look for your factory game, and you'll, you'll find it all in there. There's many, many videos on it everywhere and uh, I highly recommend to, to do that because if you go to Unreal Engine 5, you will not be able to come back to Unreal Engine 4. And just so people know as well, mods, like all of the mods will break. So if you are playing a modded playthrough right now, I would highly recommend either looking at starting one for Unreal Engine 5 so you can test it yourself or even start looking into maybe not going to Unreal Engine, but we don't know when the mods will get updated. I would suspect because of the big, big change to the engine, I would say maybe a month to two months afterwards, depending. And I think it'll be when Unreal Engine 5 gets pushed to early access. Because when update, update 8 releases, it will come with, uh, it'll go into experimental before the early access, just like every update does. They're also bringing in something called Temporal Super Resolution, uh, which will be very, very demanding on your GPU if uh, you decide to use it. So it's gonna be something in your options, you can scale up and down and it will demand a lot of power from your GPU. So I would highly recommend only doing that and using that uh, if you have something up, maybe I would say 30 series onwards. I can't say for certain because I don't know the impacts myself, but as soon as I find out when the experimental update, because you better believe that I'll be jumping straight on experimental, as soon as it drops to give you the lowdown, the info and all that kind of stuff. So make sure you, you subscribe to this channel if you're not already, and to like and also leave a comment and let me know what you're looking forward to so far within the video. And the best way for me to kind of explain what this is, think of how DLSS works, uh, It's but it's an upscale. So it's upscaling your resolution from your base to maybe upscale it to 1440p to 4K, hence why you're gonna be using a lot of GPU power. So basically you're gonna get sharper, crisper images and all that kind of good stuff. The next thing was the input system. And a lot of people I saw in the Twitch chat was getting a little bit confused because they were thinking it's about, oh, the inputs for the machines. It's not that, it's actually inputs for your keyboard, your keybinds and your mice and all that kind of stuff. So as you know right now, as Jay states in the video, there is a bug within Satisfactory that causes a keybind collision when you're holding space bar and you go into your build menu, sometimes your jetpack carries on flying. Well, that's because of something with Unreal Engine 4. And hopefully this new system will implement a better understanding of the binds themselves. So hopefully this like collision thing does not happen. So the next thing he talks about is DX11. And DX11 is, as you know, it's been around for a while now, but Satisfactory does uh, support DX12. And a lot of operating systems and a lot of games that are releasing are using DX12. But Unreal Engine does not support DX11 with the Nanite technology. 
Uh, and as you know, we are using Nanite in Satisfactory within Update 8. Unreal Engine 5, as Jay specifically says, has got a fallback system. Um, so hopefully uh, it should still work. I would think it does. Um, but if you want more information on that, I would highly recommend going into the description and skipping. I'll put the timestamp uh, where we talked about the DX11 in case you want more information because I'm no techie on that stuff. But just a bit of a heads up on that. But what it does recommend is to go to DX12. If you can't be running DX12, try Vulkan and then DX11. The next big question that a lot of people was asking was the build limits. Will that get increased with Unreal Engine 5? Uh, no. <laughs> no, we're not getting that. Um, apparently, they did a update, which we don't know about, with Update 7. Hence why a lot of people, including myself, got a massive performance boost because of something they did with, uh, with Update 7 that allowed that to happen. Um, but yeah. I find that pretty cool, but unfortunately, we're not going to get an increased build limit if you are a mega builder like myself. Uh, and unfortunately, hopefully, technically, we can still unlock it because you can unlock it in the config file so you can build past the, uh, the build limit. And to quickly wrap things up, dedicated servers um, will support uh, Unreal Engine 5. They will go into experimental, experimental mode. That's the best way for me to put it. <laughs> but just remember, like the, the, the devs, Jason Snow, always say, and I say on the stream all the time, if you, they want feedback on this. And if you do, you know where to do it in the QA site. I'll even put a link for that in the description uh, and all that kind of stuff. I'll keep that link. Every time I release a satisfactory video, I'll leave that link in the description. So if it's a bug you encounter, all this kind of stuff, look at the description, click that link, go over there, report it, or even upvote one that's already been reported but yeah like i'm super looking forward to this and i cannot wait i want to see how visually stunning it's going to look especially with lumen especially with the performance um as you know i'm running a pretty decent pc and i want to give you the best quality when it comes out and i want to see how it's going to look we can kind of see how it looked within that image that's not used in mine but i want to see it for myself at native resolution and stuff so i'm super looking forward to it but just remember because update 5 possibly might affect a lot of saves um, because of one performances there might there's going to be a lot of bugs remember report all of them and that kind of stuff but then also it all does also depends on uh, my experience with the update and experimental on how quick i can get some videos out to you guys on the matter as well and our playthrough and hopefully nothing happens to that fingers crossed <laughs> so yeah guys uh, let me know what you think of this update uh, this is the start of the caesar uh, the teaser trailers and all that kind of stuff. So remember, if you ever want to watch these, me react to them live, I do live stream on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday over on Twitch. Links in the description and every Friday where the teasers drop. You can come and join the party in the in the chat and uh, watch along with us. And uh, it's a good time. So check out my other content right here. Keep smiling. And I'll see you in another video.